My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we are doing uh, just a, a very quick video, um, just as an introduction. Uh, it's this stuff, and I would say I'll get prepared, but really there is no need because it's all within grabbing reach. So, in this video, we are talking about GRPs. Now, GRPs is the general term. Um, but basically, uh, it's GRP, which is uh, glass reinforced plastic. It's also uh, graphite, uh, graphite reinforced plastics, or you could say graphene, whatever you want. GRPs for carbon fiber stuff, which is the graphite side of things, isn't really used that much. But if you look in some engineering textbooks and stuff, it will be listed in there. Regardless. So this is uh, this is some um, cloth. This is the glass fibre stuff. Uh, I'm going to be using this soon for something. You'll see. But I can get this out. Basically, this stuff is for fire blanket. You know what I mean? This is quite tight weave. So what you get? I can't which one this is now. Let's rip, rip, rip the fucking label off it. What's this one? Uh, so this is 300 gram uh, GSM. So what that is, that's grams per square meter. So you get a square meter of this shit, you weigh it, and that's its weight, its density in a sense. So this is um, the basically, you know, it's just how many grams per square meter. It's quite simple. This is quite tight stuff, so it's quite heavy. This stuff is a 120. So you can see. This is quite fine stuff. Uh, it's just about how tight the weave is. If you look at the difference, very hard for this being white um, for you to see the difference so much. Um, but this is basically just glass fibers. So what you do is you get a glass rod and you heat it up and then you let gravity do its thing and it falls. Now these glass fibers are little fuckers. This is very cheap stuff. This isn't like the optically clean stuff that you see for fiber optics. And uh, that's extremely clean uh, and extremely pure stuff. Regardless, the next one is these ones. Now this was gifted to me quite a while back by Richard. Um, so this is carbon fiber and this is carbon fiber. So there's a slight difference in the weave, slight difference, just a slight difference, really, there's not much to it. Um, the difference between this and this is that this is just the weave, so you can see, hey, master zoom, master zoom, there we go. So you see, it's just like, it's basically it's like cloth. So this is real carbon fibre, right, none of that shite you get, you know, that fucking stickers back as we master would pull out. This stuff is exactly the same, but this is called pre-preg. So this is what Richard uses, and Richard uses this for all sorts of stuff like tanks, manifolds, all sorts of sexy shit. The whole uh, purpose of pre-preg is that this is pretty much done is this. You've got to keep this quite cool to stop the resin going off. Um, but you basically heat it up and uh, the resin will go off. The reason why pre-preg is brilliant is because you've got the perfect amount. It's pre it's pre-impregnated, that's where pre-preg comes from, um, or the word pre-preg. Uh, you've got the perfect amount of resin, so what you do is you just stick this in so many layers like matting, and you might have seen donkeys years ago, them showing you when they were showing the McLaren F1 factory, with them doing the, well, the McLaren F1 at McLaren. Um, basically just lay it into moulds, uh, in pre-cut out panels on sheets that the layers are cut out or whatever, I don't know exactly how they'd cut them out. Um, but, you know, and you just stick them, stick them, they bag them, and then autoclave them. It's moved on a lot since then. Uh, this stuff is quite amazing. You can just literally just stick this in and uh, heat it up, and away you go. And uh, it just comes on this roll like this, you know. Basically, it's grease paper, uh, like parcel papery, tapey kind of stuff, waxy stuff. And, uh, you know, you just peel it off like that. And it's sticky as fuck on the back. That's really tacky you see some of the resin on the on the edges look at the periphery here this is some of the resin some of the resin there 
and uh, yeah you just heat the shit up and away you go I make something weird just out of that tiny bit that was a sample they give me this is it basically just without the resin you can use polyester or epoxy resins with stuff get to the resins very quickly I've just got some very basic stuff for the time being which is this shit and it fucking stinks it's epoxy so it's it, no this is polyester so it smells this is a cheaper version it smells very much like um, filler because your body filler is a polyester filler. But basically, there's the polyester resin, two tubs of it, and then you get a little hardener in there. And this fucking stuff reeks. Uh, it's really strong because it's outgassing, and it outgasses through the bag so it does not give a fucking shit. <laughs> um, yeah, you've got a hardener in there, you mix it to the right ratios, and then you basically put it on your part you know put it on your mold and stuff like that not like the Dell bollocks a bit dissimilar to what the Dell bollocks did because he made right fucking monkeys of it um but yeah that's the resins and i was wanted to really show you the two different types of pre-preg and the weave um this will all become uh relevant in some stuff i'm doing the next week or so with all this this different matting apart from the pre-preg i'm not going to use that i'll just make something silly out of that um, but this matte cloth here and the bit of carbon we've got we're going to be doing something with that and you'll see that very shortly with the resin as well um, it's only a little small project or something but it is a project nonetheless hope that makes sense and I'll see you in a bit <laughs>